forward to Jeanette Kent. Jeanette Kent is the wonderful person that's come forward last year to kind of schedule and facilitate and put together our monthly meetings. She's doing an awesome job and she's going to introduce our speakers today. Thank you, Jeanette. Okay. I'm Jeanette. I'm, I'm just a volunteer. That's it. <laughs> just a volunteer. Just a volunteer. Just a volunteer. Yeah. I don't do nearly, I mean, Teresa does like everything. She's awesome. So today we have a new heart of Texas that's actually in the Cypress area that is here today to talk with us about the work that they are doing with women or even other people within that spectrum that have experienced abortion. So you know that it's not just the woman that deals with the abortion, it could also be the, the father, the parents, so there's a whole lot in that spectrum, kind of like a ripple, I think is what Mary Lee told me at one point. So today they're going to talk to us about their ministry, also how they're hooked into Rachel's Vineyard and how they provide free services here with Rachel's Vineyard. And I'm excited to hear about what they do, what they have to offer. And at the same time, I think we may be able to lead today with a few tools we can stick in our toolbox as well. Um, if we are entering a dialogue with people who may have experienced abortion or maybe even thinking about that process too. So we have Mary Lee Mason and Tracy Reynolds. So thank you so much. Yay. Thank, you. thank you for having us here today. We love to talk about our ministry. I'm the president and founder of New Heart of Texas. And uh, the reason could, could why you repeat I'm the name of the New Heart of Texas. New Heart. New Heart of Texas. Okay, I'm a little hard to hear. Okay, no problem. Can you use the microphone? I can. No, you, I, I can hear you. Just that one word. <laughs> you want? I can use the microphone. Is it on? Testing. Yes, testing. It's on. Okay. Yeah, now it's on. And, and actually, Jeanette, I was wondering, since you do have your laptop up here, if you could put our website up. That would be great. It's www. Otherwise, I could get Rosa to do it. She can. It's, okay. Yeah, because that would be great, and then you can see it up there. But New Heart of Texas, and our mission is to help anybody who has um, experienced traumatic events in their lives who have a broken heart, and that's what we do. And the reason why I started it was because I experienced the pain of an abortion when I was 18. I was not brought up in church. I went to college, and at 19, um, my freshman year in college, I ended up getting pregnant, and my only, the only thing I knew was abortion. I didn't know there was other things out there. I didn't know about pregnancy centers. All I knew was Planned Parenthood, and so my sister took me to the abortion clinic. I had an abortion, and my whole life changed. And for the next three years, I actually blacked out the next three years of my college, and I went to drugs, alcohol, anything I could do to deaden the pain. Well, I kept my abortion a secret for 20 years. When I was 39 years old, I found Christ. And long story, I won't go there, but Christ saved me. I gave my life to the Lord. And, and then five years later, I went through Rachel's Vineyard. I was volunteering at a pregnancy center, and they said, well, for you to be a volunteer here, you need to go through Rachel's Vineyard and get healing from your abortion. <coughs> and so I went through Rachel's Vineyard, and this was in Colleen, Texas, and that was 2006, and it was so life-changing that I knew I wanted everyone who experienced the pain of abortion to go through Rachel's Vineyard or any healing program to be, to be able to get healing. And so actually three months after my Rachel's Vineyard, I became a director of a pregnancy center in Colleen, Texas. And, and then I started um, running the Rachel's Vineyard retreats in Central Texas for four years. And then my husband retired from the military and we moved to Houston, Texas. And so I started uh, the Rachel's Vineyard in Cypress, Katy area. And Rachel's Vineyard is a retreat that's been around since 1985. Dr. Teresa Burke is the one who wrote the program. God gave it to her. And it is in 48 states and 78 countries. And it's in, I can't even tell you how many languages, but it is an incredible healing retreat for abortion. And anyway, so back to, um, I started here in 2010, the Rachel's Vineyard, and the Lord kept prompt, prompting me. I needed to work with all the churches, all the pregnancy centers, not just one. 
And so, so we could have the funding for more retreats, I started New Heart of Texas. And our scripture for our scriptural account for New Heart is Ezekiel 36, 26. How many of you all know that scripture? Anybody? I say it. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the one where, and this is what the Lord did for me. He took my heart of stone and gave it a heart of flesh. And and the Lord just really trans transformed me, my heart, and the two greatest events in my life was giving my life to Christ and then going through Rachel's Vineyard and receiving healing. And those two events were just so life-changing. And the Lord told me that weekend that until you die, you're going to be helping people find healing from their abortions. And so we have, I have led over uh, probably 50 retreats now for Rachel's Vineyard. And it's not only for the women who have experienced abortion, but it's one of the few abortion recovery programs for men grandparents go through it, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, boyfriends, um, anybody, friends. Some, some people go through it just for their friend because they took their friend to the abortion clinic and they needed healing. And, and then we have people go through it who even haven't experienced the pain of abortion because they want to be a volunteer. And anyone who wants to volunteer on our retreats, you have to go through it as a participant because everybody has pain in their past and that needs healing. And one of the, um, what I always ask someone who hadn't experienced the pain of abortion is to consider a time where you've aborted God's will in your life. Anybody in here done that? Aborted God's will for your life? Well, that's one way you can go through the retreat and receive healing. So as we were um, leading these retreats, um, our next phase, what we did, was we noticed 80% of the participants going through our retreats had experienced sexual abuse. And I couldn't believe how common it was. So the, the, the root of the abortions was the sexual abuse as a child. And it was coming out in their stories. And so Rachel's Vineyard focuses on, a, on abortion, but not the abuse. Yes, they get healing. Yes, their life transforms. But they still are in bondage over the abuse. So Dr. Teresa Burke in 2005 wrote another program, and it's called Grief to Grace. And it focuses on abuse, spiritual, emotional, physical, and sexual. And it's a five-day retreat. And so it took us... Uh, Tracy and I are the leaders of Grief to Grace, and it took us three years and $60,000 to be trained and licensed to be able to run these retreats. And um, our Rachel's Vineyard, we provide free of charge. Most Rachel's Vineyard costs $300 per person to go through. It's different in all the different states, but when I went through, the Lord really, I feel like he told me healing needs to be free. And so we have provided all of our retreats free of charge. Each retreat cost us $3,000. We raise the money, and that way people can experience it free. And we love them from the time they get there until the time they, they leave. We just had one last weekend. And these ladies, I wish you could to see them. It was actually our first retreat where we've had all women. And usually we have men on them. But the ladies all experience so much healing. They bond. It's, it's like they have new, new sisters and brothers in Christ. And it's just life changing. It's so excited to see where they go from here. And we do keep up with everybody. They just don't go through the retreat and then leave. Uh, we do aftercare. We actually have a reunion one month after the retreat. And then every three months we get together everybody who's been through our retreats. And so it's just really been life-changing. And uh, Dr. Therese Burke, actually I was going to see if um, 
could you scroll down to the bottom of the Rachel's Vineyard page? And it's just a three minute video with Dr. Teresa Burke. Hi, I'm Dr. Teresa Burke. I'm the founder of Rachel's Vineyard Ministries. Today I want to talk about a soul wound, which makes it very difficult to forgive oneself. And the anger and the disappointment and the despair can fester for years and years. And I would say that in Rachel's Vineyard, we really specialize in helping people forgive themselves. I've been on very few retreats when people really tell about that moment that they knew, they knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that they were going to have a hard time living with their choice. Uh, a choice that took away a child that they were meant to love and be loved by. And when love is lost, there's a, a very great despair and a grief because it's something that hurt another person and it hurts ourselves. And many people's relationship with God is also disrupted. We see the same kind of conflicts from war veterans who come back from their service and they've experienced firsthand the trauma of killing. And uh, whatever its stage, whatever justifications, whatever laws, whatever job demanded that of them, they continue to grapple with the shame and the despair and the grief. So healing is really about spiritual rediscovery and recovery and recovering who you are as a human being beneath the sadness and the trauma of what has happened in your life. And uh, I want to just encourage anybody who's struggling with this despair and grief, Rachel's Vineyard can really help. We have so many exercises to help you explore your feelings and release them without guilt, without shame, without condemnation, and no judgment. So it's really a safe place to honestly explore what's there. You know, most people don't even know what's there because they've never given themselves permission to look at it, to talk, or to even feel. And because of the trauma, so much of our broken hearts tend to shut down. So Rachel's Vineyard is really about opening up, about allowing growth to happen in your heart and your soul, and allowing the light and the love of God and the light and the love that other people have for you to come in and restore and renew all the places that have been shut down by virtue of a traumatic experience. I love hearing people's stories when their healing journey is well on its way because they say they can feel again. You don't realize how much of your heart and soul and even mind is shut down by not dealing with things. So I'm going to encourage you to come feel, deal, and heal in a place that's really safe and extremely experienced to give you the safety and the security and uh, the strength of others who can share your journey with you because part of the pain is the isolation that we can feel when no one wants to hear about our suffering. People just shut you down, they don't want to talk about it, it's a taboo issue, but not in Rachel's Vineyard. Please uh, look us up on the website and reach out to somebody and uh, know that you're in good hands. God bless you.